be better. I can always learn more. Yeah. Right? For instance, look at Nicole. What? She looks amazing for her age, and you do not see anyone her age that looks the way she does. It's rare. It's really yeah. rare. She and it takes fun. dedication and effort and taking care of yourself and, like you said, you being your role model. Like, you just, you don't have a role model. You let yourself be that. Absolutely. You should be your own hero, your own role model. And once you do that, the rest is, just falls into In the bag. It's just a now you're not looking for someone else to... I mean, we always admire people in our industry and even on TV and things we want to be and be better at. But we should always be our own inspiration so you can be better than you were. Not find someone to be your inspiration or yourself. Okay, see, if I was a year ago, I was working for another company. The, the gem uh, always been my passion. I fell in my lap. Was I looking to purchase a gym? No, but I can. Would I have said no and stay where I was because I was making really good money? No, I said, you know what? I'll give it a shot. Why not? It's my industry. It came to me when I wasn't even looking for it. Mm -hmm. And you just run with it. But it's being your own inspiration, right? So I inspire myself to, okay, I got the gym now. Now what? <laughs> Now I gotta find good people to have in my circle. And it's been a year since I've had this location. And in a year I've had a handful of trainers that did not work out because, not because they weren't good or anything, it's because it didn't fit my vision. Yeah. It didn't fit my inspiration or what I'm trying to achieve with GT Fitness. I'm not trying to grow it. I like it the way it is. We're hundred percent progress, you know. Yeah. But it goes back to inspiring yourself and, and also I didn't do it by myself. I have a community of network and friends and family that supported my vision. Yeah. But that network Uncle is Tyler. Like, that's really little. It's yeah. not like I I remember you know, when you guys were on US one and that in right. that building. And so like, when we started that was like eight years ago, we had an eight hundred square feet studio. How many but square feet is this one? This is about uh, 1,800, 1,800 square feet. Yeah, so. It was really small. I remember it being <laughs> like a little hallway. <laughs> literally, literally. It's like... But, but mean, there was the equipment was there, yeah. and shit got done. And people were getting in shape, so it worked. Okay. So we get yeah. in shape, we have fun, and and now we're looking forward to following your, your career in the Marines and continue the bodybuilding. So, And the two went together because it's helped her through her her training right now yeah. she's one of the leaders in her team but it's all because she's physically and mentally because bodybuilding gets you mentally ready oh yeah because you have to push yourself in your body through your limits when it hurts but you know what i can do this even if it hurts exactly once you pass that threshold and i tell these to my clients it hurts but after that it just kind of numbs out i mean in my head it does it just the pump is so crazy that you like no, man, you just push into this weight, like, all right, I got this. We always someone training harder than you, and that's why you got to push yourself to the maximum potential because there's yeah, someone push, always out training you. Yes. Always. Push yourself harder than you push yourself the day before. Yeah. So if I went five minutes yesterday, I'm going 10 today. 